What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you today with a different look. Uh, as you can tell, I have to wear glasses today because I accidentally ripped one of my contacts. So, in the meantime, before I get home, obviously you can tell I'm here in Cleveland at Ryan's place. Uh, it's gonna be a fairly simple video today. Uh, my engine, my engine light, but my oil light came on today. It says, uh, your oil life has expired. Uh, instead of taking it back to the dealership, uh, we're just gonna do it ourselves this time. So after 22,000 miles, it'll be my first oil change here on the Wrangler. Most of the time, the dealership just had me come in and I just had them do it because it was covered like two or three times or whatever. Um, so we're just gonna do it today. It's super, super simple. You can get all these parts here at AutoZone that you need and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it, guys. But real quick, we're gonna take a look around Ryan's uh, car lot here. You can see his truck. Katie's working on detail in a car. Katie's truck. The man, the myth, the legend. That's me. I'll pause that so I'm not Yeah, here she is, the hunk of the hunk herself. Anyone know how to put a truck back together, uh, come on over because I forget. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing. Good now, I mean, like, new rockers, they ain't rusted. It's like, it's a good time. I don't know. Plenty of Bondo, that's how you fix a car. Two gallons total. Two gallons? <laughs> He's trying to, I think Ryan's trying to like copy the Jeep and like have no doors for like a little while. He took them off. But, I don't drive around like this, but I don't have any mirrors, so can I borrow yours? I mean, yeah. Why don't you just, at this point, you might as well cut these ones off and just half weld doors. and weld them on there. Half doors. Or half doors, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now that we stole a couple of tools, uh, we're going to go ahead and pop the hood. Thanks to Road Armor for including this nice tool holder here uh, on the front of their bumper. I don't know why they put that there. Maybe I mean, it's got a weird hole in the front, too, so maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe it's like, so you can reach in here if you're underneath the Jeep. But uh, yeah, thanks to Road Armor for including that. All right, so what we have here, as you guys can see, we have uh, Penn's oil, uh, synthetic oil, full synthetic, uh, OW20. Uh, this is what's recommended from uh, the manufacturer. Honestly, it's I think is the only Penn's oil is the only one that's uh, recommended uh, from the manufacturer. So Jeep, uh, Fiat, Chrysler, Dodge, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they want you to use uh, this Penn's oil. And then of course you're going to need a new oil filter here. Uh, this whole thing cost me about I think it was like fifty-five, sixty dollars, something like that. Uh, so yeah, you're just going to look for. This part here, this part number here, that is what you're looking for for the new JLs, the 3.6 liters, the 2.0 liters, uh, the new little turbo engines. Those actually have a different oil filter. So if you have a 3.6 liter like mine, you're gonna look for this part number here, MO349. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for both of these parts. Uh, so that way it's easy for you guys to you know, look around. I think you can probably get them cheaper on Amazon. Uh, and then you'll, of course you'll have them in you know, one or two days or whatever it is. Then you're just gonna need oil pan. Uh, you don't really need a funnel, but it definitely helps when you're pouring the oil in. So you put your oil pan up underneath here. Holy crap, is it? It is bad under here. I thought I did a pretty decent job washing underneath here, but I guess I missed a couple spots. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to get under here at some point and clean the rest of this mud out. So for those of you who have never changed your oil before, it's super, super easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is find the bottom of your oil pan. Usually it's about a 13 millimeter socket that is needed to take this bolt off here. Basically, it's just a drain plug. This one's right behind your front axle, so it's Pretty much wide open unless you have some kind of like rock sliders or anything like that um, or undercarriage protection it shouldn't be too hard to get to I might need something else. What the f happened? Oh yeah, I fucking spilled everywhere. Oh, <laughs> uh, this will hold five quarts? Yeah, it should. You're fine. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened was uh, I tried to catch it in that, that drain, but unfortunately, or the, the pan, the pan has like a big thing in the <laughs> I was hitting the center of it and it started splashing everywhere. So, yeah, make sure you don't do that. <laughs> Look at that. All over, dude. 
All right, well now that that fiasco is all uh, cleaned up, back to the project we have at hand. We're just gonna take a 24 millimeter socket here, uh, take this oil cap off or oil filter cap off and then replace the oil filter that we have from AutoZone over here. So while that's still draining, you can see it's still dripping down in there. Uh, we're gonna replace this. So now that we have the old filter out, we open up the new one. You can see just how fresh that is. And then inside here as well, there's a new rubber O-ring seal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off oil, oil filter, lay that side, take the old O-ring off the edge here. And then what you're going to want to do is use some of the older oil here. Just rub it around the edge of this O-ring. Make sure you get all the way around and put the new one on. New oil filter. And you guys are good to reinstall this. Now all that's left is to put the new fresh oil in. Once you have all the dirty work done, literally all the dirty work, if you uh, change oil like I do, you're gonna have to go in to your settings here and reset uh, the warning. So you wanna turn your Jeep on, except that my keys aren't in here. Just turn your Jeep to run, and then once your settings pop up here, go down to your vehicle info. Whoops, went one too far. And you're gonna wanna scroll over. Usually it won't be on the oil life page. I mean, you could go, you'd see all the pages down here, but you're just gonna go over to your oil life. As you can see, it says zero. And all you have to do is hold the okay button to reset it. And just like that, you're done. Uh, so anyways, that's how simple or hard uh, oil change is on the Wrangler. If uh, you use a regular oil pan and not one like I did, you won't get it all over the place. So it'll be relatively easy. It should be super easy compared to what I did. I had it all over myself. Um, but to reset the, you know, the trigger, all you have to do is go in there and hold okay and it'll reset everything. So super, super simple to reset uh, your warning light. Yeah, I see uh, Ryan's already started to clean up my mess here. And I have to get this taste of oil out of my mouth, so. All right, y'all, who wants what? I got some, uh, some key tags, bottle openers, chapstick, actually this chapstick Oh, so good. It's lime chapstick. So delicious. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Got little tiny stickers. Medium, out, large. There we go. These are what we're looking for. Well, since I got oil all over my old hoodie, I'll just uh, grab one of these. You stole a hoodie. <laughs> Oops. Wait, where are these at? I was trying to steal one of those. Uh, it's in the, uh, in the box. In the I'm, I'm over it now. All right, maybe I'll go steal one. Your dad? Oh, your wow, dad? Those are loud. <laughs> yeah, they're loud. They're <laughs> really loud. <laughs> they're really loud. I haven't even, like, I've never, like, my dad put it on from it's light. It's lighter than your car and your truck. Well, most of your car because that's brighter. Yeah, Ryan's uh, new hoodie. Here's his truck. Here's his Hellcat. Eh, his Hellcat. 
Hookhead's a little closer. These hoodies are super freaking bright. You can't even see my face because it's so bright. It's auto focusing out the camera. All right, well we're out of here. Okay. Thanks for the hoodie, even though I, oh, even though I didn't even ask, I just grabbed it. You are welcome. I was inside and I was cold, and my other one's covered in oil. And <laughs> you know, luckily enough, there's somebody that, that sells clothes around here. I know, right? Oh, they're they're flex fit. I like snaps. There's there's a snap flex. There's a flex snap upstairs. A flat one. A flex snap. This is the best feeling hat you'll ever wear. Oh, here are the hats. Ah, this is. Like this one better. Yep. Now we just have to start the long drive back down to Columbus. I know. I know it's like the fifth hoodie I've been in today, but uh, I didn't want to get my new one dirty because uh, we're gonna have to wash the Jeep. This is the one thing I hate about Ohio is they salt the roads whenever like it even snows like for a little bit like for 10 minutes they'll salt everything the highways the roads people's driveways all i know is it makes this thing disgusting you can see all that freaking salt is caked up on and all over door hinges and it's not doing any good underneath there so i'm gonna be washing this for the rest of the day uh, or at least for the rest of the video hope you guys enjoyed the video changing your oil is uh pretty simple thing you guys could do for maintenance don't really always have to take it to the dealership or pay somebody uh, to do it for you it's super simple uh, as long as you don't make the mistake I did and get it all over yourself so if you haven't been here before get down there hit subscribe leave a comment like this video it really helps me out and helps the channel out and as always guys we will catch you guys in the next one